On today's adventure, I take out my homemade electric camper to test it out on a rainy cold night in the forest. So let's enjoy some delicious meals while relaxing by the heat, try out some fancy treats, and enjoy a warm night with an amazing heated electric blanket. So get cozy and let's have some fun. today. But driving this thing is so much fun. Hi there. It's a rainy, wet, cold day and it's gonna be raining all night long. But we're out here with the camper again. Let's have some fun. We made it in our little drivable off-wheel camper. Let's check out, make sure this thing's in good shape still. I'm pretty sure it is. Cover this up while it's still raining a bit. It's been raining all morning. It's gonna be raining pretty much all night as well. This thing got out here like a breeze. The tires are just caked full of mud. And some of you who probably saw me build my original version, you're wondering what happened to the really cool treads? What happened to those treads? Well, as you can see right here, it actually ripped. I was taking it out just to drive it around a little bit and it ripped one of the treads. I think the machine, my little camper thing is a little bit too heavy for the treads and it, it, they were clacking and then one of them ripped. So I just said, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself four of these tires. Just some like pretty strong little go-kart tires or ATV tires I slapped them on there yesterday and uh, they work like a charm I don't think I have to worry about these breaking or ripping or anything like that it's not too cold there was snow on the ground this morning but all the rain just washed it away because it's a little bit above freezing right now it's something like 40 degrees Fahrenheit it's gonna be just a really nice relaxing video today as we spend it inside of our little homemade camper we'll see how well it holds up in the rain I might end up taking the tarp and pulling it over the front just to kind of keep it from hitting uh, the wood right there I'll probably do that in a couple minutes or something but for now I think it's time to head inside our camper and kind of undo some of our gear and get it set up so we're nice and cozy and then we'll check out how the rain is handling uh, the wood right here So we're like in a little greenhouse right now and there's a yellow tarp is like a really rugged heavy duty tarp on the outside. So we should be pretty water resistant and waterproof in here, but we'll see. The only thing I'm worried about now is not having the yellow tarp fully over the front, which I can unfold, is it's gonna get a little wet on the wood right here and I don't really want that. Got the rain dripping down on the little greenhouse enclosure above us and I brought a whole bunch of gear again kind of like always I brought these little hanging storage things just with a bunch of gear that I just have randomly in here like some hats and gloves and things like that got my big old sleeping bag right here got my sleeping pad right here this is all of my food and my electronic goodies that I have planned for tonight uh, camera gear and this right here this is actually a blanket but it's a special blanket it is an electric blanket that's right I brought a nice electric blanket that we're gonna use when we're camping out here because it's gonna be cold and rainy all night long and I'm gonna be nice and toasty. And in order to power this, since it just runs off 120 volts, just regular house power, I made this. And this is an upgraded inverter. This is one I actually got for my last project I built and that was a mobile gaming PC that I could drive out into the forest and play some games. And it's a pretty decent inverter. It's rated for 800 watts. And in order to keep it safe from the elements, it was time to modify it and make a nice little case for it. I decided to use these nice storage containers just because they're rugged and they have a nice seal. So I mark and drill a hole on the side and I go ahead and do another one on the opposite side just the same. Now I can take cable glands which are going to be a nice way to seal in some wires coming in and out and I attach them through both of the holes that I just put in. And now it's time to modify some extension cords. I got a couple of them and I cut them to the lengths that I wanted. Then I could feed it through one of the cable glands and reassemble it back on the outside. I then added on some heat shrink tubing and sealed it all around it just for good measure. 
I could then take the other extension cord, cut that one to length, feed that one through the other cable gland, and I crimp on some ring terminals that will later connect up to the battery. And now to ensure that the inverter has a nice safe ride out there, I take some of this extra foam mattress pad topper that I have, and I cut out a nice little rectangle, then I can go ahead and fit it in the bottom of the storage container we just modified, and the only thing left to do now is to take our inverter, plug in the extension cord for the output, take the two wires for the input and attach them to the screw down terminals and tighten them down nice and secure. Then I can take the inverter, lift it up, place it on top of the foam inside of the storage container, place on the lid, lock it all up and we're good to go. Now we have an easy way to connect it up to our battery, have our power coming out, and I also have this little adapter so I can plug in a couple things if I'd like and it's all in a nice little sealed container. Back to camping. Got my big old upgraded inverter. Yeah, we got our nice inverter in this pretty nice weather sealed box right here. I'm excited for it and I don't have to worry about rain accidentally dripping on it. And I designed it so that I can just go ahead and plug it into the battery. This is connected to the terminals on the battery. This is DC in here, it's not AC. And this is the other plug. So when I plug it in, it's just gonna be turning on. It's gonna turn on and we're gonna have ourselves AC coming out of here. This is all my camera gear. And the cool thing about using a bunch of these storage containers, even for some of my electronics projects, is they're very stackable. They stack. They're great. I love this. I also forgot to mention, I made uh, this uh, just this morning out of some scrap wood, and that is it's a little table. And this was super easy to assemble. I just cut a couple pieces of scrap wood I had laying around and screwed on some little legs. But since I didn't have any other bigger pieces, I wanted the legs to be a little taller. So I had to make these small little braces that I went ahead and screwed onto them just to add a couple inches. And there we go. Now we have ourselves a nice little table. It's gonna be great for our little camper. Let's have some fun. I have myself a nice little kind of working space, cooking space, and just something I can set my things on. I was just driving around with it uh, on top of the battery box, just out of place. Thought it was pretty cool. I'm excited. So I got the place pretty set up for now. Got all my kind of totes right here. I'll kind of take them down when I need stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my inverter. But actually before that, I think I'm gonna take the tarp and pull it over the front of it just to kind of give some extra rain coverage to uh, these areas right here. All right, I'm gonna take the tarp. This ought to keep the rain off right now. We're going full protection mode. In we go. Take off the dirt. And uh, we are going to be nice and dry. We're in our little camper. We've got the rain pitter pattering all over the tarp on the outside. And with the yellow tarp pulled over fully, there's no longer any rain dripping on any of the sides or anything. So we're perfectly sealed in here, rainproof. Obviously there's gonna be air coming in and out. So it's not like it's airtight, but we're not gonna be wet. And I think it's time to go ahead and plug in our inverter. Then I'm gonna show you some of the goodies that I brought today. It should just power on. There's a little glow on the little plug, so that means we got 120 volt coming out here right now. We got power. Awesome. I think it is time to take off my boots. You can see my poor pants are just completely destroyed from walking around outside. And I'm going to take off my boots and I think I'm just going to place them outside on the ground still covered by the tarp just so I don't have to deal with mud in here anymore. Just to keep the floor a little bit cleaner. You can see it's a little bit dirty there. Take these things and set them down there and I also move my uh, refrigeration right here as well. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and roll out my little foam pad just to have a little bit of cushion on the ground. Nice. It's nice and cozy in here. I like the sound of the pitter patter of the rain. You can see where it was exposed and it was just the greenhouse plastic. It's a little bit wet still under there. It'll probably stay wet. But where it wasn't exposed, it's nice and dry under here. There is a little bit of moisture on the inside though, just because I'm breathing in here and it's so cool outside. It's gonna be nice and warm in here. All right, look at this. We got our little table set up here. 
back and my little light shining down it is kind of gray and dark outside and we maybe have a little over an hour left of sunlight until it's just getting completely dark out here but i honestly just plan on hanging out in here because it's just rainy and kind of nasty outside but i like my little table i think it's a nice little addition to the camper same with my little upgraded inverter the thing's pretty cool and i'm excited to test it out and we're going to be testing it out with dinner and for dinner we're going to be having some potato some green onion some ginger i grabbed a jalapeno for good measure we got some mackerel we got some uh, miso soup mix i got some shiitake mushrooms and i got myself some egg noodles we're gonna be making a delicious miso kind of soup thing not really sure what it's called but it's gonna be really good Looking pretty good. I don't know if I've ever really had these. I've never had these dried ones, but I'm just gonna go ahead and toss them in the soup. They feel like styrofoam. They smell good. They smell really good, actually. And I'm also gonna be using this miso soup for the broth. So we got the soft miso paste and then the, the bits. And I only brought this small, this is like my smaller size pot. I should have maybe have brought the bigger one because there's a lot of stuff that's got to fit in there, but we'll make it work. And you might be saying to yourself, how am I going to cook this in here? I don't want to have a little fire in here. I don't want it to take up all my oxygen or anything like that. And plus, it's a pretty small space. I don't really feel comfortable having a little flame right here. And it's pretty rainy and nasty outside. I don't want to be cooking outside. So how are we going to make this meal? Well, let me tell you. I got myself a nice 750 watt hot plate which goes perfectly with my 800 watt inverter let's go ahead and make some soup place in our little pot fill it up with some water and i can take all my vegetables and i do have a lot of things and hopefully it all fits and before we start cooking it actually is getting dark in here so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights on the camper and they just kind of reflect off of the yellow tarp and it acts as like a lantern. I didn't bring a lantern other than my little light. So this is gonna be our light. And now we can go ahead and turn on our stove. And I'm gonna go ahead and just toss in all of the miso soup and bits as well. Get all that flavor going. I love me some miso soup. And it's really good when it's the actual paste. There we go. And let's mix all this good stuff in. There we go. It's about to be so good. Just for fun when we're cooking this meal, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and plug in uh, this thing. It's a watt meter, 722 watts. That's what we're pulling right now from our little stove cooking our little meal. Inverter is doing beautifully. You can see those mushrooms are starting to swell up a bit. I imagine by the end of this, it's gonna be very, very sweaty and drippy in here. We'll see though, we will see though. This camper is such a blast. Got the soup coming along, hanging out in the camper on a rainy day. It's not too cold. Uh, it's maybe around 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. There was snow on the ground this morning, but the rain kind of washed it all away. But I think it's not too cold also because I have this little like uh, little stove in front of me. It's just heating up and it's electric. I don't have to worry about gas or fire or anything like that. It's just hanging out on this little table I made and I'm loving it. A cozy, cozy day for sure. It's finally time to just relax and enjoy the night. And I hope you enjoy it with me. I got the soup cooking here. I decided to pull out my tablet. I'm going to be watching some of the Lord of the Rings. And what better time to do it than making some delicious soup, hanging out inside my little homemade camper, running all off of a massive battery. It's crazy. This is a pretty big appliance to have out here, but that beast of a battery is powering it no problem. I love it. I got my little watt meter down there too, because you got to be scientific about it. And I got to say, I love this little table too. I can put my feet underneath it while I'm hanging out definitely starting to get warm I think it's time to add in our fish this is gonna be a delicious stew or soup or whatever you want to call it cooking some delicious dinner just listening to the rain pitter patter all over the roof it's a really nice day it really is oh look at that I think it's about time to add in those noodles. I'm just gonna go in and drop in two of these pucks. It is a very full pot. There's not much else I can add to it. It smells very good. I can smell that ginger and it smells amazing. 
Love me some ginger. Get those noodles cooking up. This place is steaming up in here. <laughs> you can see all the moisture on the roof. <laughs> it's all right, it's nice and toasty in here. It doesn't even feel like it's cold outside. I'm gonna go ahead and just set it here on the wood. Alrighty. Woo, you right in the camera. Ooh, that's so hot. This whole place is just <laughs> steaming. Now for some broth. It's nice and warm in here. It smells amazing like ginger. That's what I mostly smell, ginger. And the little cooktop did fantastic. It was able to cook up our dinner super easy and the battery's a beast. It handled it, the inverter handled it as well. And I checked the battery and we're at 90% battery. We only use 10% of the battery driving this thing around and cooking our dinner. We're doing fantastic, absolutely beautiful. And this dinner looks beautiful as well. I'm super excited to eat this. Cheers. Ooh, that is good. It's got a nice spice to it, actually. Oh, I forgot I put the pepper in here. And these big old mushrooms. I think this is the best soup I've ever made on a camping trip. I probably say that every time I have soup, or maybe I don't, I'm not sure. But I think this is honestly the best. These mushrooms are actually fantastic. It is so warm. And it tastes really good with that miso. We just kind of walked through the grocery store and grabbed things that I thought would taste good. And it actually turned out really well. This is fantastic. Delicious dinner, eating some soup, watching a movie. This is fantastic. This is the first time I've really done much camping in the rain. This is the first time I've ever taken this thing out in the rain. There's no water getting inside other than the moisture from the stove cooking, which was to be expected. And cooking that soup in here, it is nice and warm in here. And I do have that heated blanket as well, which will be really nice for the night. You can just see the steam off of this. Mm. And I like the sound of the rain just hitting the tarp. It's very calming. This is really nice. I feel like I needed this. I was sick all last week. I couldn't do anything. The first day I was finally starting to feel better. I went ahead and built a little upgraded inverter enclosure, which I think turned out fantastic. I definitely feel more comfortable using something with that much power in like a rainstorm like this. And it handled beautifully. The power of this 750 watt stove, it really pushed that inverter to like pretty much its limit. And I went with a good inverter like Victron. I went with a decent one because I'm pretty sure if I bought like the cheapest inverter and tried to run this off of it, there's a good chance it would just overheat and like a, a fuse would pop and you don't want that. Sometimes it's better to just get uh, good quality products. Mm. Have some more of this it is so good so good oh. feels good to just stretch out and I do love this little table I think it's a fantastic addition to the camper I really do I got so excited when eating my soup I forgot I have it with tea, and I have some uh, nice tea, and I brought my thermos full of hot water, which is a nice little kind of cheat, so I don't have to heat up any water on there. It's just nice and ready. Oh yeah, it's still very hot. Cheers. <sighs> kind of tastes like licorice a little bit. Very good. Right now I'm just using my heated blanket as a little foot rest. But when it gets time to sleep, I'll definitely start turning that thing on. Right now it just feels really good to relax after that delicious meal. Oh, you can still hear the pitter patter of the rain on top of the roof. And there's still a bit of moisture in here. <laughs> what a nice day.
you can just hear the rain on the tarp and every once in a while you can kind of see where it hits I brought the Steam Deck again, except this time it's the Steam Deck OLED. I'll probably do a review on it, put it on the channel. We'll see. But let's do a little bit of after dinner gaming. It's been maybe like an hour or two since I ate dinner and it's definitely starting to feel chilly now. I definitely know that it's uh, starting to get cold out. And in order to warm up, I want to go ahead and we're going to make a nice little warm treat. So let's go ahead, head over to the refrigerator, which happens to be outside because peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, cookie dough to be precise. But I know what you're thinking. How am I going to cook these cookies out here? It's not like I brought a miniature toaster oven out here. Oh wait, I totally did. We're baking some cookies in this tiny little oven. Let's go. And of course, we're gonna power it off of our inverter. There we go, got it plugged in. I put a little light on my camera. I should have probably put it on a long time ago. But hey, we got the toaster oven out. We got the cookies unwrapped. They're like, uh, I guess I got peanuts in them. <laughs> it looks like something else, but we're about to make some cookies. So I guess I'm going to take my little tray, spray it with some oil. And then I'm going to just take one of these things and uh, we're going to place it in the little, <laughs> the little oven. I mean, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm just gonna set it for like uh, down here. And uh, we'll see what happens. And we can tell right away. And this is rated for uh, 550 watts. And it's pulling right around 550. Oh yeah, it's definitely starting to get warm. It'll be nice, it'll be like a little space heater again. Get it warm in here. After cooking that pasta, it started to cool down a bit. Oh, it's definitely starting to glow. Oh, I love the inverter upgrade. I'm so happy I did that. Oh, it's definitely starting to bubble bubble on there. Definitely see some smoke rising. It definitely looks like our cookie is cooking, but maybe a little bit too hot. I might need to flatten it out. Is it burning? Oh boy. <laughs> I think our, holy moly, I think our cookie is cooked. Yeah, because I don't think this toaster oven has any settings. I think it's just kind of go. And this looks like it was a little too much go. Holy moly. <laughs> Look, it emitted all this like junk. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very foggy in here. At least I have a little fan. I'm going to turn on this fan. Oh my gosh. It smells like burning. There we go. Circulate some of this smoke out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to gently squish this thing out. Throw it on the cookie. I'm going to just do for a couple minutes. I think it's working a lot better now that it's flat. The color of it's looking a lot lighter than the dough. I think it's almost done. Hey, okay, I'm going to just let it hang out. I think we might have done it. All right, I'm going to take it off the rack if it'll let me. All right, we're doing half of it at a time. We went from round one to round two, and round two is actually looking pretty good. Now this is looking like a mighty fine cookie. Oh. All right, let's see where we came from. This was our attempt number one, attempt number two, and look at this. I think this is the real winner. We're gonna let this cool down. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cookie. I brought myself some uh, hot chocolate. Let's have ourselves a little bit of hot chocolate along with our warm, fresh baked cookies. <laughs> it's gonna be very strong. Got some hot chocolate and my fresh baked cookie. Let's try it. Hey, it looks really good actually. Mm. That is very good. I think I finally found out how to make them in this tiny toaster oven. This is a good cookie. What a nice treat. Definitely warmed me up right away. 
and having on the little toaster oven baking these warmed up this whole area too. It's not feeling cold anymore, which is wonderful. I think it's time to bake a couple more cookies and just uh, enjoy, enjoy my time in the camper. This is a lot of fun trying a bunch of different things. I never thought I'd be baking cookies in a little toaster oven inside this little camper. It's a lot of fun. We got another one in the oven and this one's cooling off over here, but I'm a little impatient. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Ooh. Mm. Maybe dip it in. Mm. <laughs> Fresh baked cookies. Such a nice little treat. The last cookie. You can see I baked all the cookies here. These ones are nice and cool and I'm going to be putting them just in a Ziploc bag and I'll just snack on them or either take them back home. But hey, they worked really well. I'm really happy that uh, the little toaster oven was able to bake these cookies. For the battery, let's see what our battery is at. 80%. We're doing uh, pretty well, honestly. We've only used 20% of our battery driving this thing, cooking our dinner off the electric little hot plate, and then also baking all of these cookies in our little electric toaster oven. And we're only at 80%. And I was a little worried how much energy we'd have left for using the electric blanket later. But I don't think I have to worry at all. I can use that electric blanket all night long and we'll be perfectly good to go. Pretty awesome. Definitely really happy with how uh, the little hot plate turned out and how the little toaster oven turned out. But I am full of food and sugar. Just cleaned up the little stove with a little toaster and I'm just relaxing a little bit. You can hear the raindrops just crashing on the ceiling. It's a very relaxing sound. It's definitely cold in here. And I did bring something to make sure I don't go cold tonight. Actually, I brought two things. Let me show you the other thing. I brought a little 200 watt heater. Go ahead and turn on my little heater. Ah, feels good. It's like a hair dryer, except it doesn't blow as hard. It feels nice and it hovers right around 200 watts, which is perfect. It's a nice little efficient guy. And it's just gonna warm up my little camper. And it's gonna be nice until I'm ready for bed. And if I want, I can actually take my fan and I can have the fan blow the heat this way too. And I can actually feel it from here. It's pretty nice. Warm up my feet with it. Oh, my poor pants. They're just filthy. Uh, what a rainy, muddy day. And you can hear the rain again. <sighs> what a wonderful day. Staying nice and dry and toasty on this rainy, cold day. getting pretty tired. I think it's time to at least start to set up uh, the sleeping situation and unroll my sleeping bag. Alright. I'm going to take this table now and flip it on its side and kind of push it flat against the battery box there just to kind of keep it out of the way. So the table is now flat. Got my pillow here. Got the controls here. This is the switch for the lights. And then it's time to set up my electric blanket. I'm gonna put this in here. I guess I just gotta plug this thing in and we're good to go. Plug it into my little inverter. And I like having a little watt meter on here. I don't know, I just, I like no one. I can take my heated blanket and uh, if you can see, power it on. And I can send it up to max and I don't know what this is gonna hit. Okay, like 130 watts, that should be fine. It's way more efficient than my heater, 70 watts less than my heater. And it'll probably keep me warmer than that little space heater because it's gonna be more like uh, localized to my body. So cool, we're gonna be running this all night long. I'm gonna be nice and warm in here, loving it. Let's turn on our heated blanket to max. 
it's pretty late right now. I'm pretty tired. It's been a, a long day, but it's been a good day. Very rainy and a chilly day, but it feels very nice and warm now. I have my heated blanket. I have it turned on to maximum. It's got a 10 hour shut off, so it's gonna keep me, oops, hit the power. It's gonna heat me nice and warm till when I wake up, it's gonna be perfect and I can feel it. Right now I'm sleeping with it underneath me and it's just warming up my body through the bottom, which is really nice because usually when you do like cold weather camping, it's cold from the ground up, but now it's warm from the ground up and it just feels amazing. So I'm really happy about that. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be very warm all night long, maybe even too warm, but it's better than being cold. But it was a lot of fun to just uh, use the electric hot plate, then the little electric toaster oven, then I brought out my little electric heater, <laughs> and then now I have an electric blanket. It's just such a luxurious camping adventure in my little homemade camper. And it's awesome with uh, the big old battery and the inverter, just so many luxuries. But yeah, it's been a wonderful day. I'm very tired. I'm pretty exhausted, to be honest, and I'm ready to catch some sleep. So get some good sleep and I'll see you in the morning. We'll have some breakfast, hang out. It's probably going to be raining and then we'll just head on back home. Anyways, get some good sleep and I'll see you then. Good night. Good morning. You can see all of the condensation and drippy bits from it just being so warm in here and all of the cool rain and everything outside. I still got my heated blanket on and if you noticed, I had to turn it down quite a bit. It got way too hot and I woke up way too hot, like uncomfortably hot. <laughs> so I had to turn it down quite a bit. And our battery's at 67%, uh, so we're doing pretty good, to be honest. Not even at the halfway point. And we used the battery, like, for so many things yesterday, and we're just really doing perfect. And this was on for a long time. <laughs> Super hot, though. It was warm all night long. It might be a recurring theme, the electric heated blanket, whenever I have this big old battery with me, because it was just so nice, honestly. I didn't even have to worry about being cold. And I imagine even taking this thing way colder out, it shouldn't be a problem problem either which is pretty nice so that was a, a fun little experiment and it was a resounding success uh, the thing is awesome <laughs> it really is but yeah, I think it's time to, I guess I'm going to roll up my sleeping bag and kind of push it off to the side so I can make room to make some breakfast oh by the way completely dry in here other than the moisture on the walls from like my breathing and uh, the heaters and stuff not a drip came in from all the rain we had last night and this morning. So, that's good to know. And of course for breakfast, I had to bring myself something else pretty crazy. And that is a small little waffle maker. Just another crazy thing that we're going to be running off of our inverter. We got our waffle mix. And this doesn't really have an on and off switch. It's just kind of you plug it in and the thing goes on. Add a little bit of this mix. There we go. You can see the waffle maker is starting to put out some smoke in here. It's about to get a lot more wet in here, even though I wiped it all down on this cold, rainy day. Let's give it a peek. Hey, it's actually good, and it didn't stick. I think the oil worked. Whoa. And I'm using whoa, whoa, this uh, as a plate, my little cutting board. And I brought myself some fresh honey that we're gonna use for dipping the waffles in. You can't go wrong with that. This has been a very electrified camping adventure. <laughs> very luxurious one, I would say. The sweaty roof. I'm glad I put the inverter in the little moisture proof box. We got ourselves a delicious stack of hot chocolate chip waffles fresh off of the waffle iron in our small little camper. It's been a fun little adventure Ooh, on this cold rainy day. I slept all right last night. I definitely woke up too hot a couple times where I had to like uh, take off some layers and then like turn down the heated blanket. And speaking of heated blanket, I still have my heated blanket on right now just over my lap and it feels incredible. <laughs> it's a game changer to be able to have uh, a heated blanket in, in cold weather camping. Huh? 
nice and warm. A warm breakfast is so nice. I had a whole lot of fun on this little adventure, taking out the little camper, bringing all these little electronics goodies with me. We used a whole lot in here. That inverter and battery held up fantastically. Didn't even reset or shut off once, even when using the little stove top that we used to make our soup yesterday. We cooked a whole bunch of cookies, which I still do have um, some cookies in a little bag right here, which I'll just bring home. They're very good, honestly. And I might have eaten one uh, in the middle of the night last night as a little snack. <laughs> I used my little heater for a little bit. I used my electric blanket for a little bit and then we also used the waffle iron so we just really <laughs> put our battery and our inverter to the limit we just powered so many fun little things out here and it was just a very luxurious way of using this little camper and then the camper itself is electric so <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it mm -hmm. very good well, I'm just finishing up my breakfast here on this cool weather morning. But after breakfast, I'm gonna start to clean up my camp and then I'm gonna head on back home. And I hope you enjoyed this adventure with me. Let me know if you like to see videos like this, if you'd like to see more videos like this. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoyed. And I wanna say thanks for stopping by everybody and I'll catch you all in the next one. Um.